I will discuss application of plant tissue culture. Plant tissue culture are associated with a wide range of applications. The most important being the production of pharmaceutical, medicinal and other industrial compounds. In recent years, tissue cultures have become an important tool for crop improvement, commercial production of natural compounds. Tissue cultures are useful for several other reasons like large scale multiplication, biomass energy, production of secondary metabolites, disease free plants, haploid production, early flowering, genetic transformation, international exchange of germplasm, and cryopreservation of germplasm. Now let us discuss one by one. Micropropagation. It is a complicated process. Micropropagation has been successfully applied for the propagation of potato, apple and some ornamental plants. Applications of Micropropagation Through micropropagation, a large number of plants can be grown from a piece of plant tissue within a short period. It is possible to produce disease-free plants through micropropagation. Meristem tip cultures are used to develop pathogen-free plants. Micropropagation is good for seed production in some plants. It requires minimum growing space. Millions of plant species can be maintained inside culture vials in a small room in a nursery. It has become possible to automate micropropagation at various stages. Bioreactors have been set up for large-scale multiplication of shoots and bulbs. Androgenesis The aim of androgenesis or anther culture is to get haploid plants by induction of embryogenesis. Haploid plants have single complete set of chromosomes that in turn may be useful for the improvement of many crop plants. In vitro production of haploids is of great significance in plant breeding programs. Some are It is possible to develop homozygous lines within a span of few months by employing anther or pollen culture. By the process of androgenesis to produce haploids followed by chromosome doubling, it is possible to develop exclusive male plants. Haploids provide a convenient system for the induction of mutations and selection of mutants with desired traits. Insect resistance genes can be introduced while producing haploids. Developed haploids are screened for desired resistance and then diplodized. The plant species with salt tolerance are needed for their cultivation in some areas. Anther cultures have resulted in some varieties of rice and wheat with good salt tolerance. Androgenesis are useful in several areas of cytogenetic research. These include determination of the nature of polyidy, determination of basic chromosome number, virus elimination. Tissue culture technique can be utilized for production of virus-free plants either through meristem culture or chemotherapy. Meristem tip culture is the most reliable method for virus and other pathogen elimination. Virus-free plants exhibit increased growth and vigor of plants. Higher yield increased flower size. Secondary metabolite production. Plant cells cultured in vitro have been considered to potential source of specific secondary metabolites. Major advantages are compounds can be produced under controlled conditions as per market demands.
quality of the products will be consistent and it is produced by a specific cell line. Mutant cell lines can be developed for the production of novel pro compounds of commercial importance which are not normally found in plants. The production time is less and labor costs are minimal. Haploid production. Haploid plants can be developed from ovary or ovule culture or pollen culture. In vitro culture of unpollinated ovules is usually employed when the anther cultures give unsatisfactory results for production of haploid plants. In vitro production of haploids is of great significance in plant breeding programs. Some are, it is possible to develop homozygous lines within a few months by employing anther culture. Disease resistance gene can be introduced while producing haploids. Disease resistance plants can be obtained by haploid culture. Haploids provide a convenient system for the induction of mutations. Mutants from several plant species that are resistant to antibiotics, toxins, herbicides have been developed. Haploids are useful in cytogenetic research. It helps in determination of basic chromosome number and nature of polyidy. Protoplast culture Protoplast means plant cell without cell wall. Plant regeneration can be done from the callus obtained from protoplast. Importance of protoplast culture Protoplast in culture can be regenerated into a whole plant. It is excellent materials for ultra-structural studies. Isolation of cell organelles and chromosomes is easy from protoplast. Hybrids can be developed from protoplast fusion. Hybrid production. Protoplast of different species can be fused to generate a hybrid. In vitro fusion of isolated protoplast to form a hybrid cell and its subsequent development to form a hybrid plan. Several interspecific and intergeneric hybrids with disease resistance have been created. The genes responsible for the tolerance of cold and salt could be successfully introduced through somatic hybridization. Somatic hybrids for the production of high nicotine content have been developed. Somatic hybridization has helped to study the cytoplasmic genes and their functions. Germplasm conservation. The objective of germplasm conservation is to preserve the genetic diversity of a particular plant or genetic stock for its use at any time in future. Germplasm storage is an ideal method to avoid subculturing and maintain cells tissues in viable state for many years. Plant materials from endangered species can be conserved. Conservation of pollen for enhancing longevity. Establishment of germplasm banks for exchange of information at international level. Rare germplasm developed through genetic manipulations can be stored. Cryopreservation. Cryopreservation means preservation in the frozen state. Cryopreservation means the storage of germplasm at very low temperatures. Cryopreservation is an ideal method for long term. Conservation of cell cultures which produce secondary metabolites like medicines. It is a good method for the selection of cold resistant mutant cell lines which could develop into frost resistant plants. Pathogen free plants 
material can be frozen and propagated whenever required. Conservation of soma clonal variations in cultures. Plant material of several species can be cryopreserved and maintained for several years and used when needed. The techniques of plant tissue culture have helped in the green revolution by improving the crop yield and quality. Because of the wide range of applications, plant tissue culture attracts the attention of molecular biologists, plant breeders and industrialists. Thank you.